Welcome back. It is the latest industry to take a supply chain hit, and that's farming. With a global fertilizer shortage, farmers across the world are having to shift tactics to make sure they have a good crop to harvest and sell. So the impacts of the shortage will go far beyond what happens on people's farms. News 19's Madison Neal spent the day with a Tennessee Valley farmer who says this shortage will ripple into larger issues. Right now, it's spring planting season for Tennessee Valley farmers, and this behind me, well, it's a cornfield. This crop's going to utilize a lot of nitrogen, and some farmers across the valley could face challenges with the current fertilizer shortages. There's starting to be some shortage of urea, uh, UAN, 32% uh, liquid nitrogen as well, and anhydrous even. Josh Ogle owns DJ River Farms, a multi-generational family business that grows cotton, corn, soybeans, and wheat. Thanks for him, they were ahead of the supply chain curve. We're fortunate enough to be able to start a little earlier this year in the spring and get our stuff done a little quicker, and that kind of guaranteed us a, an opportunity to get everything we needed. Prices for the ingredients that go into synthetic fertilizers are shooting up. According to Green Markets, prices have nearly tripled from the start of the pandemic. I guess when I bought in February, January, February of 21 for that crop till this year, we tripled in nitrogen price and we pretty well doubled in potash and phosphate. And it's even higher since then, probably another 15%, 10, 15, maybe 20% on certain elements. The Russian invasion of Ukraine, supply chain issues caused by storms and high natural gas prices are contributing factors. And of course, this is a global economy and a global market we're in now. So not only is it me that it affects, it's, it's all over the world. Ogle says from first fertilizer for crop production to what you see on the shelves at the store, every aspect is intricately tied together. The corn price will affect what the chicken, you know, is going to cost in the store, what the beef may cost in the store. And then, you know, that could also in turn affect what the milk's going to cost in the store. And unfortunately for some of these farmers on the back end, we're not seeing that as much of an increase as what the stores are going to be able to price it at just because of the shortages. Ogle says the bottom line is it's a global market and we're all in this together. Reporting in Lincoln County, Tennessee, Madison Neal, News 19.